everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, this is not my usual background. I know it's very boring, plain and basic, but for good reason because today's video, ladies and gents, is going to be a little room transformation glob up, I guess. Basically, if you already know, we've been put back into lockdown and I'm not a happy bunny. I'm not a happy bunny because now I can't see my boyfriend for god knows how long because I highly doubt it's only gonna last for four weeks. Yeah, I spent majority of this year sat in this bedroom and quite frankly I was getting a little bit bored of it and I needed a new surrounding so I thought I would kind of move my room around just to have a new kind of different environment so I didn't feel so same same and like trapped in my room, do you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it but basically I just wanted to give my room a little bit of a change so that is what today's video is gonna be i hope you guys do enjoy this it's nothing too drastic it's mostly just like moving furniture a bit of decorating here and there i do hope you enjoy give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i'm just gonna get into the video i'll let the struggle commence not looking forward to this bit because i've now got my empty this bed behind me because we're gonna attempt to swivel it around so we're gonna take everything from underneath which i'm just dreading because it's just gonna be so much mess and crap and try shift it little 43 kg me is gonna struggle because this bed probably weighs like twice that <laughs> if only one in lockdown and i could get my boyfriend to help me but no thanks boris <laughs> oh god oh my god oh my god what have i just done instantly regretting it before it has begun i'm gonna quick time clear all this shite and then we can try move it with me very little more scales i'll zoom you out a bit so you can actually see so i started to realize how much unnecessary crap i actually own but i just don't have the effort to do a clear out <sighs> but he's moved to where it's gonna be that took a lot of like hoovering and cleaning and there was so much dust behind that bed it was absolutely vile but now i need to lift this up because underneath here it is very disgusting i'm gonna hoover all inside this and then I'm gonna put back all the crap basically which I emptied earlier right now that's done my next step is to kind of transform this wall here because it is just a big blank space and I want a bit of colour and a bit of life so I have a few prints that I'm going to put up which were kind of sent over by Desenio and I used the kind of gallery feature tool on the website to decide like the size and like the placement of the frames because I know I'm so indecisive I'll be there I was trying to decide what to go where so it just makes it a lot easier to get them up on my wall knowing already how they're going to go but I'll quickly run you through the prints because they're really cute and then we can get them up on my wall. They're kind of all fit together with like the same sort of colour so like the pink ties in the green plant ties in and then like sort of nude so there's like two of each kind of colour if that makes sense but basically we have this little one here which is like a woman reading a newspaper like a little outline we have feel the feels or feel all the feels sorry this one which says be kind i thought it was really cute like gradient fading away we've got two of these kind of like tropical plant prints and then we have this huge one here which if I try read out to you says, someday everything will make perfect sense for now. Laugh at the confusion, smile through the tears and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. Today will never come again. Be a friend, encourage someone, take time to care. Let your words heal and not wound. Love, love, love because love conquers all. And I thought that was really cute. And you can also choose different frames. I went for the black metal, but they also have wooden, like a copper color, gold, silver, whatever you fancy. But I thought this just ties in nicely with the rest of my room. So we're just gonna get them up on my wall. So if you guys are interested, you can actually get 25% off the prints until the 12th of November if you use the code Amy Menzies. But this doesn't apply for like frames or personalised prints. However, they do have so many other high quality prints that are like regularly updated on the website. So there's plenty to choose from. Whatever aesthetic or vibe you're going for, I'm sure you'll find something for you. I chose quite simple prints, nothing like too crazy because I wanted it to like last three different seasons. Not specifically just tailored to like one time of year if that makes sense. Like these will look good all year round. And I hope you like my new wall i think it's pretty cute 
I didn't actually realise how much space of my wall these prints were going to take up, but I actually really like it. I know some of them look a little bit wonky, I've tried my best, and there's not equal space between each frames, but I did what I could with what I had. I'm sorry if they are a little bit lopsided, but this is the best it's going to get for now. Definitely something which has like kind of spiced up my room, I guess. I feel like this video has just been absolute waffle so far, but I'm going to quickly show you a few things I've picked up for my room before I actually get into it so I don't forget to go along because I know me and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to do a little mini homeware haul. Don't know why I said home like that. Home my haul. Before obviously we were put into lockdown 2.0 I did take a trip to Home Sense with Jack and I picked up these two cushions because I watched um, Hope's TikTok and it was like one of those what I've bought this week kind of videos and she's shown these. They were literally 9 99 each and they're like feathered pillows, like proper like plush cushions I guess and they're like full on fur leopard print. You can take the zips off and wash them and I thought 9 99 each for these, absolute bargain. There were two last ones left in my store. I didn't even have tags on them so I was like oh my god am I even going to be able to buy them? But the woman put them through the till for me and I'm just so happy about these. You guys know I absolutely love leopard print. I think these will look really cute in my room and I just couldn't leave them there. 20 quid for two cushions is an absolute bargain. So we got them from home sense but home sense and tk max are kind of like sister companies so do check the tk max website because they do have some great ones like that i've seen them on there because obviously i know you can't order from the home sense website but you can tk max then we have this little amazon parcel and there is just a few little bits and bobs in here this gonna look a bit weird but i did pick up some fake flowers because i cannot keep flowers alive as we know from the last lockdown when jack got me them each month and they literally lasted about two weeks until they died on a windowsill so instead I picked myself up a pack of fake ones. This is like two bunches that you just have to put together. I do have a little pot for these, which is still on the way. So hopefully that arrives today because it is meant to, but who knows. And then got this little throw. I mean, it's not little because I'm pretty sure this is like the size of my double bed. So it should cover majority of it. Fingers crossed. I wanted like a super fluffy blanket for the winter time just to keep me nice and warm. Just as an extra little layer. And a bit of texture to my room and my bed, you know what I mean? And I think this is like 20 something pound from Amazon, so it wasn't exactly cheap, but I was also gonna buy myself a new rug, fun little story, because it had stains all over it from like makeup and stuff. So I thought, before I actually spend the money on one, let's just whack it in the washing machine and see what it does. And surprise, surprise, the stains came out. God, who would have thought, I know. So I spent last night kind of re-fluffing my rug up with an old Tangle teaser, which I do have a clip of, so. I'll put that in here if you're interested. But my rug actually looks brand new again now, so I saved myself a few quid there. And then like, the last thing I got is just a new bed sheet because obviously the only sheets I have are the leopard print one, which I had on before this, little sausage dog one, which I've got on now, and then my kind of festive bedding. And I didn't have a plain sheet, and I thought this would look really nice with the new leopard print cushions. That's my little mini haul of the things I got for my room. And now I'm going to attempt to just kind of get the furniture where it needs to be, and hopefully my room starts to come together a little bit. I'm sorry this has been such a mess. One set of prints go up and another set of prints come down. It's finally time to say goodbye to this photo wall. She's done as good. She's been a fab little background for the past few months, but she's very summery and she's just not going to be great for the upcoming months. Like, she's not really a wintery vibe. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm going to take this off and hope and pray that I don't have greasy blue tap marks on my wall, and then we're going to decide what to do from there. Honestly, it seems like two weeks ago I was putting these up in that day in my life vlog. So if you are interested to see how I actually did do this, then it is on a video on my channel. It is actually a really good way to kind of make your room a little bit more colourful without having to go all out and like repaint your walls, you know what I mean? Like it's just a temporary thing. You can put up and tape down whenever you please. A bit like a Christmas tree, do you know what I mean? Only thing is, I don't know what I'm going to do with these prints now because obviously I don't need them. Molly's already got a photo wall up in her bedroom so she doesn't need them. And I've also already got loads left over because I printed way more out than what's on my wall. I've just got a little stash of them under my bed. I'll quickly get this done and then we can move on. If that's all right with you. It's actually mad how different that looks like. I can't even remember my wall looking like this before I even put the prints up. It's not put together with screws. Just clip it. Why would you even do that? Why would you even try? Doyle. This is the current state of my room. It is very messy. I've managed to move the egg chair to the corner there with my mirror and my plant and then the set of drawers that was there 
is now in this corner here looking really cute along with my clothing rack which Jack kindly donated to me. I know you decided what's going to go on here yet but for now this is the setup we are working with but I've just got so much to try organise. This is like all the boring stuff that nobody really wants to see so I'm going to get all this done and then I'll be back. This bed sheet is so scratchy and sheer and not cute, so I'm gonna change it to my leopard print one. I know it's gonna clash with my cushions, you don't have to tell me, but I'm left with no other choice right now because my sausage dog one needs to go in the wash and this one is just not happening. No. We're gonna put the leopard one on and I'm gonna hope that that looks somewhat cuter. Ah! <laughs> Fingers crossed this looks better, guys. A little bit better, hopefully, who knows, but we've gone back to the OG leopard print and I've also put on my new kind of blanket. It's not as thick quality as I thought it would be, but hey ho, we move. The bed is now done. Oh my God, has this been stressful? I am so glad that my room is finally done. If you'd have seen the nightmare we went through trying to find this leopard duvet because we couldn't, for the life of us, remember where we put it, a good two and a half hours was wasted trying to find this and I'm very glad that we actually got it in the end. I've just been doing the last kind of few bits and bobs like disinfecting everything, putting everything on the shelves and stuff. And I'm finally ready to show you the kind of end result of my room. So I hope you like it. It's kind of turned out a lot better than what I had in mind. And I'm very excited to share with you guys. So we come in the room and we have the door. My lovely little dressing gown there. And to the side where the photo wall used to be, we now have my set of drawers and my little clothing rack, which I still haven't put anything on yet clothes wise but I think this looks pretty cute we've got my little plant up there with the plant pot which did actually arrive this is when I was talking about earlier my laptop this is actually hung on the wall because this is where my plaque used to be hung but this is like the perfect size to still be visible from the drawer because this doesn't touch the end of the wall the plaque and then the shelf which is pretty much stayed the same and then we come down we have my rug which I talked about earlier that I refluffed and that basically looks brand new now which I'm honestly obsessed with Again, this sort of area still looks the same because, I mean, I can't move my window, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then around here, I have my little ring light, which I get loads of questions on. It's not sold anymore, so sorry about that, I can't link it for you. And then my tripod, which my granddad actually gave me. I have a little fluffy rug there, which is from my last room video, so if I can find a link to that, I'll link it as well. Along with my plant, which was TK Maxx. A mirror which my daddy got me from work and then this egg chair which is from Amazon with the two cushions on it because obviously I didn't want to put them on bed and make it clash so that's what we're working with for now. Two little teddies and then my TV is still up there. Eventually my TV will be moved onto this wall just so that obviously it's facing from my bed but for now this works just fine. I have the bed which is probably my favourite part. I actually thought this would make my room look a lot smaller but surprisingly it makes my room bigger. This is just a little thing to lift it up by the way if you're wondering what that is. But I have the new blanket on, my leopard duvet and then my teddy from Asda. And then I moved the little ladder shelf to become kind of like my bedside table. I mean it's not really because I don't really have anything on here that I would need throughout the night but it kind of works because I can still get to my plugs and stuff, my charger and the wire for my TV and I think that just looks really sweet. There's just all like my bath and body stuff and they're like skincare and face masky bits and bobs and then the little caricature of me and Jack with a candle, a plant and my speaker and then we move back onto my favourite bit of the room which you guys will know from earlier are my decennio prints. Honestly did not think I could be more obsessed with these, like it's just completely transformed my room and I am so happy with these. I think I chose some pretty cute prints if I do say so myself. 
And then down here I have my desk, which is pretty much again stayed the same, along with my bin, which definitely needs emptying. But this is from Amazon again, I will link it if I can find it. The little drawers on top, again I think Amazon, this pot is TK Maxx. And then I've just got like my Gucci perfume plant and a little, what do you call it, gold rabbit, which is also from TK Maxx. I have my glasses hung on the mirror there because I don't have storage time. So if you have any ideas on what I can do with my sunglasses and blue light glasses, let me know. But all like the photos have stayed the same and everything. Just think this is really handy to have, like it's just a cute little space behind my door and I love it. I do still need to get a chair though for this because I can't sit on my bed and see in the mirror because it's like at an awkward angle so I need to get a little like buffet or something to sit here so I can do my makeup but this is such a cute view like if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I take a lot of photos in this mirror so it's nice to have kind of a little different setting. I'm running out of breath but yeah that is basically the finished room. I'm actually obsessed with this, did not think my room was capable of looking any different than it did before because I was set that my bed would only go one way but I was surprised to see that my room actually looks 10 times better like this and I love it so I'm going to send you off to Amy in the future to end this video so that was it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy let me know if you prefer my room now or my room before because I'll be interested to find out don't worry I won't be offended don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe down below let me know any of the videos you want to see throughout these next four weeks are probably a bit longer so any help with the ideas would be much appreciated with that being said I will see you in my next video bye S -O -S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed, but he never on the show. Get impressed, cause I'm dope. You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green, so you know this happy tree.